Dave, we have some showers, showers in the forecast today, later, but yeah. then some cooler temperatures coming. I say cooler very loosely. Slightly, yes, a few degrees. <laughs> uh, we're still into the 80s. Uh, this is a cold front, but not that classic one where you get numbers that drop sure. way down. Uh, you'll notice the change. The humidity drops, and I'll take uh, that. the wind picks I'm up, happy though. About yes, that. so uh, watch the uh, grab the hairspray. You'll need it here the next few days. <laughs> wind picking up here. Look at where the cold front is right now. It's just to the north. Uh, these are the 24 hour temperature drops. So right along the panhandle and just east of Jacksonville, you're seeing numbers drop just a few degrees. Uh, still pretty much the same as where it was yesterday. Orlando and to the south uh, here, but the wind picking up out of the northwest. This will turn to the northeast. You'll see it gusting here overnight tonight and especially tomorrow uh, right along the coast. You'll see the wind going northeast, maybe 20, 25 mile an hour wind gust or higher at times. That'll create some rip currents and small craft issues. There's already an advisory uh, here in effect. Uh, pictures this morning. Sandra sent us this nice shot to waiting for the sunshine. It is here now, uh, but just a few clouds are off in the distance there. So a nice start to the day. Uh, here's what we have across the area with just a partly cloudy sky and uh, some low clouds there off in the distance. A bit muggy right now, but it'll start to get a little drier as that front approaches uh, the area. You'll notice that this afternoon. Mid 70s will climb into the upper 80s, uh, close to 90 degrees, and you'll start to see a few showers developing here on real time Doppler. That'll be the indication that that front is getting closer. It is here now. The cooler air is into the Carolinas uh, down through Atlanta and the line of clouds pushing down through Jacksonville. So you're starting to see the temperatures drop there and the wind pick up as well, especially off the coast of the Carolinas. The front moves south and a little bit of moisture out ahead of it. So here come the showers one or two picking up about four o'clock to five o'clock this afternoon, maybe even an isolated thunderstorm. But right about now you're starting to see that humidity drop, so it feels a bit more comfortable and the wind picks up though. There's that strong east to northeast wind as the high builds in over the Carolinas. It is not over Alabama and Mississippi. That's when you get the cold air coming right down the Florida Peninsula, so not a big drop in temperatures, more of a wind event here across the area, especially up and down the coast Monday and early Tuesday. Now relative humidity, it's fairly high this morning above 80%, but these are the colors you like to see when it's near 50% nice and comfortable starting to get a little bit of that by two o'clock. The air mixes just a bit, gets slightly drier and then very comfortable, especially tomorrow afternoon, even though it is breezy and slightly cooler. You'll notice that humidity dropping as well. The very dry air uh, stays up to the north. Waves will pick up as the wind speeds increase. They go right down into Palm Beach County, Broward and Miami Dade four to six foot seas increasing at times about six to maybe up to five feet. There's an advisory in effect to today uh, for, for, uh, tonight uh, just off the coast here. The keys just use caution. There may be an advisory in effect tomorrow. Rip current risk will be increasing today. It is just moderate. If you're at the beach today, it is gusty. Uh, 654 AM is the uh, high tide this morning and then a low tide coming in about six to uh, six hours after that. No tropical activity is expected to develop 89 degrees gusty here overnight tonight. Look for showers and then a thunderstorm. The extended forecast will have wind gusts here Monday and Tuesday. Moisture returns and storms are back in the forecast.